are Confessional Magazine, and this is more to the story. Brought to you today by Iris and Bo, whose toner helps keep my laugh lines in check, because you never know what our guests are going to say. Visit irisandbo.com today and use code CONFESSIONAL for 20% off. So much of love in this heart of mine. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Confessional Magazine. My name's Taylor, and I'm here today with the extremely talented Nick Swift. Thank you so much for being here today, Nick. You're welcome. Thank you. (laughs) So Nick is a musician artist out of Austin, Texas, and we're just going to learn a little bit more about his story today. His uh, band, Nick Swift Band, is always out and about around town and just really putting out good vibes and just... (laughs) <laughs> helping people laugh and like celebrate and just joy your your music brings joy so nick how did you get your start in the music world um well i, I was initially i was a uh, going to school for biology i was going to become a scientist and then i realized i was playing music all the time and i was so much happier um <laughs> doing that maybe not happier but it made me very happy um and so i changed lanes and became doing you know started doing full-time music in austin um, about 2012, and have been trying bands out and playing all around the, the you know, everywhere around here. Um, but the start was, it was uh, meeting friends in Austin and, and learning from older older people that have been playing in bands and lived here a long time, and I would study them. Yeah, that's really cool. So, who would you say were your like? Can you name any of your inf- your musical influences from around Austin from when you first? Definitely, got there? definitely, yeah. Um, I would say when I first got here, um, there's Shaky Graves is one of the first ones that was really blown up and he was starting with just solo shows and then just taken off. And so he was one of the first people, um, Shaky definitely. Uh, there was, it was a lot of friends that weren't maybe on the scene. So, you know, like I was making yeah. people that weren't really known. So it's hard to say. Yeah, so when was the first time you picked up a guitar? Oh geez, um, when I was probably 11 or yeah, 12 maybe. So you started at a young age. Did you take guitar lessons somewhere, or were you the kind of person that could just kind of pick it up and, you know, yeah, figure it out? I, I took some lessons, and I I, I liked the lessons, but I, I kind of grasped concepts from the lessons. I just went off and did my own thing, and so the lessons weren't really for me for me. Um, but then I went on to like work at kids' music camps, so I liked teaching it and I liked being around it. But I learned more off my own, probably off you know playing and and you know researching on my own and then going out and hearing people learning from that yeah so your music in your band do you are you the like the main writer of all the like the music and the lyrics or how, how do you guys put yeah this all so together? it's um it's, i'm pretty much i write all of it um and then i bring the ideas and concepts to the band and they uh that's just kind of how it's been working lately it's been different processes throughout my whole career but Lately, um, that's kind of what's making things a little bit more streamlined and efficient for me is to sit with a producer and just do it by myself and then come up with a really cool concept and then go to the band. And and it's, they're able to like tap into it and help create it and take it a different place. So it's, uh, the format is is kind of like that right now. Um, Now that COVID's over though, we're kind of getting together more and um, I, I foresee us creating more in a group setting. That's so exciting. So what have you put out recently or what projects can we be looking for from you? So I have a brand new song coming out in June. Um, it's called Men. <clears throat> and it's uh, it, like the tagline is like, if boys don't cry, what about men? Um, so it's kind of like an introspective kind of, but it's still fun and like <clears throat> soulful. It's still fun and upbeat and soulful and fun. I like to dance, yeah. even though it's kind of like a, a deep kind of concept. But um, that's a new one coming out June 4th. So look, I, I love that. I mean, I just got chills when you said that, because that's so, that's such an important topic that like, I, I just, I hate that. I hate that boys are taught. Yeah. It's not, it's not the kid's fault. <laughs> boys <laughs> are like taught to be tough, you know? Yeah. And I, I, I hate that because then they grow up into men that don't know how to handle their emotions. Yeah. All of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're all in it. <laughs> so I, I love that. And you said that that's coming out on June 4th. Yes, June 4th. Um, we're trying to do a video for it right now, which is challenging with COVID things, but mm-hmm. uh, we want to have a video for it. And uh, But there's other projects that I, I releases that I have that are out. So go check them out and listen. And, yeah. 
Yeah, do you want to play anything for us right now? I see the guitar sitting next to you. I'm about to work <laughs> on it. I have to change the strings on it. Um, oh. <laughs> maybe, maybe, yeah. <laughs> Bummer. Oh. Um, um, I'll give you a little taste of that. I don't know. Okay, wanna, okay. Get teased. <laughs> um, <laughs> boys don't clap, tell me what about me. Is it such a bad thing to have feelings? Boys don't cry, tell me what about me? Men like me, yeah, yeah. Is it such a bad thing to be living, to be living, to be living, yeah, yeah. I love that, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man and i just i have to say i love your style those like honestly your pants are to die for <laughs> <laughs> i wear them like out and like into public too and they're, they're ridiculous but they're fun i love them <laughs> <laughs> thank you i just i love everything about your music and your style and the way that you can just tell that you are digging deeper into the thought process that goes into your music and yeah, you're you the kind of person about love songs over and over and over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just, I'm very excited to hopefully get the chance to see you performing live and in person. And where can, where can people find you around Austin? Like what venues have you been performing at the most? Um, so yes, I'm looking forward to seeing you at one of the shows too when you come. Um, the places that I play frequently are... I would say my number one spot is Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. We call it WTF. Um, and it's on West 6th Street. And it's just kind of a, in the middle of a bunch of clubs and DJ experiences, which is, which is great. But the live music is making a resurgence there. And so it's, there's a line out the door. And it's just very, like, juxtaposed there. And I like that. And the, the venue is just so supportive of music. It's, like, almost scary. They're, like, so, so supportive. Um, that's and, amazing yeah yeah so austin tally is um, one of the main guys his name is austin and he runs wtf um we often play at rustic tap we're playing there this sunday um and we, we like to play there because it's outdoor and there's crawfish and, um you can yeah you can dance outside um <laughs> we also play at armadillo den and i really enjoy that venue uh it's down south in south austin and it's got oak trees and like a grass you know like rolling hill area and an outdoor stage it's really beautiful um and then i would say like a real venue like empire control room that's like the best sound and stage and lights and smoke and like oh, oh. the whole thing <laughs> yeah. Yeah. well very cool i just i hope everybody can you know get to know your music a little bit more and spread it out even further than austin and just get it get it out there everywhere yeah. and so how can people follow you um so I think the best way to follow is probably on like Instagram. I am ashamed to say it, but that's like the one medium that I selected and just go all in on. Um, but I, before COVID, I was taking trips around the country and I was playing in all different cities, uh, Chicago, Seattle, LA, New York, um, and doing just like what you're saying, going around and sharing the, the vibes and the, the positivity and the good music. Um, and so it's been, it's been really interesting to travel around the, the country and just get the same like loving, like, super like happy joyful people that are like just experiencing the music and having a great time with it and it's it's not just austin it's everywhere like the whole, the whole yeah. yeah and the there's world. just there's really nothing better than a room full of people that are on that same like that feel what the artist is saying with like their whole bodies are in there and it's just there's something so powerful about the live music experience and especially when it's in it. Yeah. yeah. If you participate so, in it, then you can add to that really joyful energy, and then uh, you can get up and dance, and you can you can be into it, or you can you know be too cool and all shut yeah. down. And you know, if you do that, they're not adding to like the energy, and it's a big it's a big uh, big energy ball we gotta add to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amazing. So everybody, take your take time out of your day and follow Nick Swift Band on Instagram. And I'm sure you can find his music anywhere that music's available. And his new song is coming out on June 4th. And we cannot wait to hear it. Woo. And is there anything else that we can uh, 
They're out there for you. Um, I guess the dogs are saying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I would say just uh, look out for, for that new video, new song, and um, and also maybe get on the Instagram and maybe comment if you have any, like, personal experience or if you agree with that kind of, like, if, if Boys Don't Cry, what about men kind of, like, tag question topic. Yeah. Um, get on there and kind of participate in it if you can. Absolutely. Join the conversation. Yes. So, yep. Thank you so, so much for joining my conversation, our conversation today. This was so much fun to get to know you a little bit better. And I'm excited to see the rest of your journey. So thank yeah. you so much, Nick. Yeah. I'll talk to you All soon. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you okay. so much. Bye. Bye. Ciao. So much I love in this house.